everyone, it's Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room and Trading Like a One Percenter. In this video, I want to talk about creating folders which we can then place trades into. So I'm going to, going to continue on my last video and I'm going to be using the stocks that I put together for my Dogs of the Dow article, which will be coming out in the January edition, January 2015, of Stocks and Commodities Magazine. What I did was I created those trades in the last video. I want to show you how we can actually store them in one folder. Uh, and there's a good reason for that, too, because we can actually view the performance of these things as they move along. So um, let me show you real quick how that's done. So I'm actually going to go to Website, all right, and I'm going to go to Folders. I'm going to go to Create Folders. Now, a folder is where I'm going to uh, keep one or more trades in for analysis. i got 72 trades on right now in my trades folder, right? What I want to do is I want to create a subfolder, so I'm actually going to call this one Dogs of the Dow, okay? So I have my Dogs of the Dow folder, and now I'm ready to put some, some of these 72 trades into my Dogs of the Dow folder. And to do that, what you've got to do is you've got to come back to website, go to folders, and go to edit folders. Now, the folder on the left is the folder that we want to actually take uh, trades from and place it into a folder on the right. Now, if you notice on dis uh, display A and B, I have trades and trades. I want to take trades and I want to put them into my dogs of the Dow folder. So, folder B is, is blank right now. Now, I'm just going to come down. I'm going to find my dogs of the Dow. One, two, three, four, five. I click them and activate them. Then I click on move. And I just moved those five trades from folder A to folder B. Now I've got them in my folder, my Dogs of the Dow folder. What can I do with these now that I have them in here? Let me show you some really cool stuff. So if I go to Trades and I go to uh, an area here, let me just show you a couple of things we can do. We can go to our Trade Cart. Okay, so I go, I go to Trades and I go to Trade Cart under Save Trades. I'm going to go in and I'm going to analyze my Dogs of the Dow. So in my trades, I'm going to click on Dogs of the Dow. Make sure you have the folder selected. And I want to look at a trade analysis, trade by trade of what those have been doing. Now remember, those were actually from the beginning of the year. I've updated the date to today's date. And I'm going to just go ahead and analyze these. So I click on Analyze. And down at the bottom, I get a summary report for all five trades. Right now, I have a net profit of $798 on these five trades. All right, I have, looks like I've got 100% of these trades are making money. Right now, I can tell you right now, not all, not all the dogs of the Dow are actually making money. Some of them are down. So you can see here uh, with, when I go through these AT&T, Pfizer, Intel, GE, and Cisco, you can see how much they've made. All right, not much, 112, 111, 159, 91, uh, and then I have one for 325. And so if you look, you add all those up, you get the 798, all right? But most importantly, what I want to do is I want to look and see with the trade summary how all these trades are stacking up. So I look at my trade summary, and I can immediately see, you know, that, that having all these trades on with the strikes in place, you know, what, what are they doing? Well, they're actually running um, pretty close to a 10% return, and I'm going to show you how we find that out. So we're going to go to Trades, all right? And now we're going to come down, we're going to look at Profit and Loss. So we go to Profit and Loss. We're automatically going to see those Dogs of the Dow trades in here. And you can see across the P&L section, I have about a 6% return on these trades. But wait, Tom, you said 10. Well, this does not include the dividends, of which there's about 4 to 5%. In, in these dividends across these five stocks. So we really are looking at close to 10% return this year. And if you look at this versus the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones and the, and the stock markets have had a good year, but that, the Dow is only up 7% for the year, all right? So the fact that the Dow is up 7%, but this simple covered call strategy is up close to 10, is just, you know, it's, it's a way of showing how using options can help reduce risk and also increase returns and probability under the right conditions. Now, this particular uh, example I'm showing you here in the video was not to teach you how to do a covered call on Dogs of the Dow. It was to teach you how to take trades and save them into a folder so that we can then analyze and backtest 
those trades. There are so many things you can do with folders, all right? You can take folders and you can make call folders, cover call folders, bull call spread folders, credit spread folders, straddle folders, and you can analyze all these, all right, to find out which strategies you feel are outperforming and which strategies are underperforming. Uh, again, just scratching the surface on what you could do, but again, what did we do, guys? We simply took some stocks, we created a folder, we put these stocks in that folder, and that allows us to analyze the folder. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more. We'll see you next time.